everyone. This is Wednesday, August 16th. You're here at the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group Meeting for Chaos. Um, quick reminder, all, all of our chaos meetings are under our chaos code of conduct, so keep that in mind. And of course, as always, you can keep your cameras on, off. We do not care whatsoever here. We are very, very flexible. Um, let me do it. Oh, here it is. Okay. That should be the minutes. And yeah, if you have not added your name and you'd like to do that, you can do that. It would be great. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to change this. I'm really good today. I'm having a really good day. The weather's cooling off. It's beautiful. I have a really fun evening planned. So yeah, I'm good. It's good, it's good stuff. Um, I'm going to pass this to Dawn, since I'm pretty sure she's the one <laughs> who put that in here. <laughs> I did. It's it's just your friendly reminder that we do have a we do have a survey open uh, for people who've used our tools and metrics in the past. So we would love it if you could complete our survey and in particular, let us know what you found challenging so that we can improve it. So there's the, the link to the blog post with the survey. So uh, have at it. That's it. And if people are so inclined and would like to help us spread the word about this, that would be amazing. There is, we don't tweet really um, well at all, um, but if you would like to um, amplify the post on Mastodon and also LinkedIn, I think those are our primary um, of methods of social media right now. Uh, we have a threads account, but we don't thread. I don't think we've threaded anything. I don't even know what, I think we talked about this yesterday. I don't even know what to call it. If it's threading, who knows, but um, yeah, so if you would like to help us, or you can just post it on your own things. We would really, really love that because we're trying to um, get that out as much as possible. So, yeah, that would be great. Any questions or comments on that? Okay, fair enough. We will go on. So the next item is just a reminder. We have a um, new Badger orientation for our DEI event badging initiative. Um, that, that happens to, that's tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow at 9 US Central or 3 p.m. West Africa time. You do not have to register for this. You can show up. Um, if you would just like to learn about what our event badging um, process is, that's also completely valid. Just attending that meeting does not commit you to anything at all. Um, but if you would like to become one of our badgers, that's a super easy way to contribute to chaos. You don't have to know anything about chaos or badging or our metrics, really. Um, essentially, what the badger's role is, is when we have an application from an event organizer for a badge, um, you will just review that app application and, and basically verify that what the, um, the uh, event organizers have, have said that they've posted is, in fact, what they have posted. And if there are any recommendations, maybe for things that they could think about that they haven't thought about already, you're welcome to provide that for them as well. It's very open. Um, it's a happens on GitHub and an issue, so it's all transparent. You can see uh, we'll we'll go through all of this in the orientation tomorrow. But if you want to um, check that out in the meantime, here's a link to it. It's actually um, its own org here. And it's under badging. And oops, that's not right. That's the badging bot. Uh, this is it. So you can go through and see. Um, we have a couple of open ones right now. I need to. Oh, I need to uh, uh, sign that one. Oh, my bad. Um, but we've done over 100 applications. So if you want to just kind of go through and see what they look like, that's what they look like. You'll see. We'll go through all this process at, at the orientation. Um, any questions about that? Like I said, you don't have to register, um, but if you do want to be added to the invite, just let me know and I'll be happy to add you on there. So any questions about that? Okay, moving on. Awesome. We're going to be done in like five minutes, I think. So <laughs> get your time back. That's good. Um, we do have a new Slack channel for our project managers. Um, this is something that has kind of come up 
uh, recently, <laughs> since we have some new uh, projects within chaos that um, need some help <laughs> getting organized, um, particularly our onboarding courses that we're developing, and also the, the new idea that Anita had yesterday in the community meeting about um, creating a landscape of the projects. And so um, we created this Slack, Slack channel. If you are a project manager or would like to partake in that activity, um, I'm kind of hoping we are able to get a project manager for each of our little sub projects that we have going on. I'm thinking of um, not just those two things, but also um, our Slack, our newcomer Slack bot project and the, um, event the new event badging website. Um, things like that like could really benefit from that kind of a contribution would be absolutely fantastic and amazing so if you are a project manager and are not in that channel feel free to join or i can add you if you like um yeah and we're gonna try to work asynchronously um we're, we're trying to get a regular cadence of meetings um, on the books but as you know in chaos we have a lot of meetings <laughs> so, so finding a slot is a little tricky um, but we're working on that and then um in the meantime we're going to try to work asynchronously so any questions on that i do want to also give a quick shout out to hetty and yiga and i don't see mary blessing but um yes to both of those wonderful women who are uh, in our <laughs> in the project manager Slack who did not hesitate to raise their hands to help out with that. So thank you so much. We need you. <laughs> so we're really, really glad you're here. Um, really appreciate you all. Any other questions? Well, there weren't any questions. Any questions or comments about that? Awesome, all right. Um, just a quick update on Zoom. This was a topic of conversation about kind of the new policies that they're putting in place regarding um, AI and the use of our information and things. Um, we are, just for those who don't know, um, Chaos is part of the Linux Foundation. And so the Linux Foundation has the org account for our Zoom. Um, so what we're going to do is reach out to them and just make sure that we're opted out of any of those initiatives as we do not want to participate in that. So um, for anybody who is curious, that's kind of where that stands. Because I think we can all be in an agreement that we do not want to participate in that. It's pretty fair to say. Any, any questions on that? So for now, we're going to stick with Zoom, um, hoping we can get opted out. If that is not going to be a a possibility for whatever reason, then we can decide on if we want to change platforms or not. But it is kind of tricky to change something like that since we have been using Zoom for a really long time, like since the beginning <laughs> of chaos. So um, it will be a, an effort to change, but it would be worth it if they're not able to um, allow us to opt out of that. Questions, comments? All right, moving on. Um, this was also from last week. Uh, I don't think we really got a chance to mention. So here at Chaos, for those who don't know, we have um, groups called Context Working Groups. And these are folks from Corporate OSPOs. That's one of our Context Working group, um, Groups. Scientific Software Community is another one. And University OSPOs or University Open Source Groups. Um, that's our third con. So we have three, three context working groups. And in those working groups, we talk about very high level things around community health that are specific to that context and kind of what things that they're looking at, what they care about, what they want to measure. Um, but we don't really develop any metrics in those groups. Those are, again, are very just high level, um, high level conversations. And so we have we're trying this uh, role of having a what we're calling a liaison, which are folks that would attend those meetings and then also attend um, the places where those metrics get developed. And the DEI working group is one of those places. So, for instance, if there was an idea for a metric that uh, would fit in this group and what we care about in, in here, um, that liaison would bring that idea 
floated to the surface in those context working groups, bring it here, and we would develop the metric here in this working group. So you may see these folks coming in and out, and they may be bringing us ideas. Um, we do have quite a backlog of ideas <laughs> that we just haven't had the capacity to, um, to develop. So uh, we keep all of them in our metrics tracking sheet for, for anybody who's new and hasn't seen this. This is kind of where the metrics all live um, just while we're working on them. And this is for all of the, you can see all of the different uh, working groups that we have or have had. Some of these are no longer in in place, value is now um, the OSPO working group. Evolution is no longer; it's just um, async, and same with risk. So DEI is one that where we actually do develop metrics, and um, so you might see more ideas coming in to uh, to our funnel here. So these are all the ideas that we've had, um, and again, we've just kind of uh, not really had the capacity to build these out, which is is okay. That's it's okay. We. Um, you know, uh, for a while in chaos, we uh, focused very much on creating new metrics and, and just cranking them out. Um, we have a pretty good, I think we have 80 metrics now. So our focus is more kind of shifting toward how we can apply these metrics, how we can pull them together to answer deeper questions um, and how we can uh, and really get people to use them. So um, it's okay that we, we aren't very, uh, we aren't as uh, active in the development as we have been in the past, but there may be some that are have a specific need and so they'll they'll come up here and we will then prioritize them as needed. That was a lot who has questions about that. Yeah, this metrics tracking sheet um, is is really the central place and it's. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty, but also it's a little bit of a, a, a lot <laughs> to kind of um, process. So um, we do is it, it is open to anybody who wants to look at it. We don't typically point people to it unless we're in a meeting like this and people have a little more knowledge about chaos and what all of this is, because um, it is a little confusing and it's a lot to see. But, um, but yeah, this is where everything happens. Um, and this is where also as we develop metrics, they'll show up here. And we will then um, create context tags, keywords for them, like all of this happens right here. So, yeah. And this is the st uh, stable link that we provide. If someone's linking to the, the metric, this is where we ask them to, to link to. Cool, that's, yeah, I think it was, I left a comment in the chat that was just saying that this sheet's really interesting, especially the DEI tab. So thanks for sharing. Um, and yeah, something you know I'll share with our team and circulate because um, I think this is you know a great guide for open source communities that are looking to you know increase their efforts to be more diverse. So um, yeah, really great. Glad to see this. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. And I, I will also just mention that if someone sees something on here that's either in progress or in the pink and considering, and that really speaks to them, and that's something they really want to work on, absolutely, 100% welcome to do that. Um, it just need, We just need a, a driver uh, uh, you know, of these. So if somebody is like, yes, I want to work on that, absolutely, uh, we can help you get that started. We have a template that you can start from, and it can just be empty. <laughs> it can just be empty. You can just dump your ideas in there and then we can work together as a group is usually how we do it um, in this. We take these sessions and, and make them working sessions and we all jump in the Google Doc together and we all collaborate and, and um, iterate on it over a few uh, period of a few weeks and make sure we have enough eyes on it um, to, to move it forward. So if, if anybody sees anything on this list, I'll drop it here in the chat also. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's awesome i want to help build that out um yes by all means i will get a template going for you immediately and you can start so and when you say like work on it and mm -hmm. iterate on it, it you're like talking about completing the template for that metric yeah yeah okay. so here we can look at one if you want um so uh okay here's one we did on leadership diversity 
uh, which actually you may have already. Um, and this is probably an old template that we've used because it's been hanging out for a while. So basically, there's just a template that, yeah, there's nothing in here. But yes, we would go through and fill in the sections, essentially. And the template, the, if you want to see what the template actually looks like, it's in our community uh, repo, which I'll drop a link to. It's here. Nope. Why can did I you, never find it? Did you mention, I apologize if I missed this, what um, causes something to go from uh, considering to actually being released? Is it the interest or would it, did you mention that or did I? It, no, I you're, you're to totally that? fine, Sharita. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, it is if someone feels passionate about it and wants to get it going, um, that's, that's a great driver. Or if it's coming from another group, um, like our metrics models group that is developing um, models. So like a bunch of um, metrics that come together and they're kind of missing one they would bring it to this group and say, hey, we would love to have this metric developed because we want to add it to this model to help us answer these deeper questions. Um, then this group would work on it as well. We would just take that on and make it a priority. So thank you, <laughs> thank you, Don, <laughs> for finding the template for me. Um, Sharita, does that make sense? You can see that I'm not the only one who struggles every time I look for that template to actually find it in the repository. Every time. Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah, good, you're welcome. Um, so this is what the metric template looks like and so what we would do is take this put it in a google doc and then um, it, we would create the google doc under the chaos overall account in, in google um, that way we still have ownership of it if whoever started it you know leaves which has happened in the past where we couldn't get to the doc anymore so um, i'll create it for you and then um, you can just start it and just start dropping in your thoughts and then as a community we'll look at the google doc and work together to fill it in and build it out because obviously you I mean you're not going to know maybe everything or have thought out everything and that's completely fine completely fine even if you just want to start and <laughs> you just want to move it from considering to in progress because it's something you care about but you don't know much about that's also completely valid we will take whatever whatever movement we can get, so. Yeah, any other questions on that or how we develop our metrics or anything? I will drop this um, just so we have it in case anybody is interested. Um, that's the template. So yeah, just ping me on Slack or send me an email or however you want to reach out and let me know if you want to start something and I'll be happy to create that doc for you. Not a problem at all. And you do not have to be like, you can absolutely be new to chaos and start that. I think one of my favorite metrics is our metric on burnout. And that was a metric started by Ruth when Ruth was here, maybe, I don't know, two weeks, <laughs> she was just like, hey, I want to talk about this thing. And we talked about it and we built, built it out, uh, built a metric around it. So absolutely do not have to be um, uh, been in chaos very long. You can be brand new to our community and obviously you will have awesome ideas and we would love to hear them. So don't let that stop you is what I'm saying. All right, well, this is the end of our agenda. <laughs> So if, if nobody has anything else, I mean, feel free to drop things on here or bring them up right now, whatever is on your all's minds. We can, we're happy to chat. We have a little bit of time left. Yeah, there are no project budget updates today, um, but next week I'm thinking Enoch might have some updates like share on the floor. Um, he's not available today, so. I didn't see you pop in here, Ruth. So yes, I was talking about you. I didn't see you right here. <laughs> I hope that's okay that I brought that up. Yeah, that's me. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that you did that though. Literally, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of my favorite metrics too. Yeah. It's a good one. Thank 
I think I'm having some interest in the travel support metric. Uh, this one right here, travel support for speakers. Yeah. Or yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty pretty wide open. <laughs> I would maybe not use this doc. I would maybe start a new one. Okay, John. See you later. Good to see you. Do you want to start that, Ruth? I can. I'm happy to. No, right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Or if anybody sees anything that's like here, these are kind of stalled. To be perfectly frank, um, if you see this and you want to start, um, okay, Sharita, bye. Uh, if you want to start or add or bring it back up and put it on the agenda, we are happy to do that. We are happy to do that. Again, it just kind of takes somebody to to kind of own it and, and drive it. Well, it looks like we don't have... Hello, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Hi. Go for it. Yeah. Um, I think I saw one of the metrics. I don't know if it was psychological something. Psychological safety. Oh, um, I'm, I, I think I've lost it. Okay, let me see if I can get it back. Hold on one sec. Oh, where's my thing? Psychological safety right here. Was this it? Um, yes, it has. It's already been. Yeah, it's already been released. Okay. So here's a link to it. It essentially is, is do community members feel safe in your community contributing and um, bring their opinions. I'll put a link here in the chat. I should also say too, if anybody is looking at our metrics and sees something that could be better or changed or updated, um, by all means, um, we are in the process of adding a link at the bottom of all the metrics. So you can, here's where you would find that doc. Once we release them, it goes into GitHub. And then, um, so if, we, if we're looking at this and we say, oh, we want to add something here. So this is the doc where we would actually create a pull request to make that change. Since it's been released, it's here. Instead of a Google doc, it's here, if that makes sense. OK, anything else on our agenda that we want to talk about? Otherwise, you all can have your time back. Okay, fair enough. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. We'll see Thanks you later. next time, same place, same time next week. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.